let's pray. Thank you, dear God, for this day. Thank you for helping the CBS team to manage all those days when dancing and singing to praise you. Please bless the CBS team and may we praise and worship you all the way. Thank you for bringing us to CBS to learn to praise you and worship you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Let us join the praise and worship team. It's a great thing to praise the Lord. It's a great thing to praise the Lord. It's a great thing to praise the Lord. Walking in the light of God. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of God. It's a great thing to love the Lord. It's a great thing to love the Lord. It's a great thing to love the Lord. Walking in the light of God. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of God. It's a great thing to serve the Lord. It's a great thing to serve the Lord. It's a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of God. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light, walking in the light of God. You, Shadi, yeah. why did you take my pencil? But I need a pencil to do my homework. You always like taking my things without asking. Next time. Please, don't touch my thing. But, but Charlie, you have two other pencils. I and don't you, care. You're not a good hey, friend. Hey, 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 hey. Why are the two of you ever it's fighting? Shadi. Shadi, what now? Leave me alone. Come on, Shadi. Stop fighting over pencils. And learn to apologize to each other. Okay, Shadi, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, very I'm sorry nice. Too. Very nice. Jesus doesn't like it when you fight. And he wants us to be peacemaker and forgiving each other and living in peace with each other. Ah, you mean like in the Beatitudes? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what? I love the Beatitude. Which one now? The Beatitude you're learning today mm -hmm. is about being the peacemaker. From the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 9. Nice. And it says, uh, mm -hmm. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Wow, like what you did to me and Shadi. Yeah, ah. I am a peacemaker. Lovely. I also want to be a peacemaker at home, Very in good. school, mm -hmm. even when I'm playing with my friends outside. Me yeah. too, me too, me too. Please pray for us. I pray for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have to bow our heads, mm -hmm. close our eyes, mm -hmm. and put our hands together. Dear Jesus, we come before you today asking you to make us peacemakers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye. Let's go. Bye. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? Are you well? I know you are. I'm so happy to see you once again in this week. Before we start our lesson, I'd like us to appreciate Shali and his friends, as well as the praise and worship team. They've done an excellent job. Can we go ahead 
and clap our hands for them, we will show our appreciation in a special way. Okay? Let's start like this. One, two, three, cheers! Again, one, two, three, cheers! Well done. Well done to our team. We have an exciting lesson for you today, still on the Beatitudes. Do you remember what the Beatitudes mean? Mm -hmm. Tell your parent, your guardian. Did I hear you tell them that it means the blessings that Jesus gives us when we do what he wants us to do? Yes, that is correct. And today we are going to learn more about the Beatitudes. And we are going to learn about Matthew chapter 5 verse 9, which says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. But before we go into the lesson, boys and girls, I'd like us to pray. Can we pray? Yes. When we want to pray, what do we do? Yeah, we put our hands together. We close our eyes. Come on, close your eyes. And then we say a prayer. So say this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for today. I thank you for the lesson of today. Help me to do what it says. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you for praying. Our lesson for today, as we go right into it, is blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Boys and girls, let me ask you, do you know what a peacemaker is? Do you? A peacemaker? Mm -hmm. Let me try and explain that to you. Look at the picture that is showing on your screen right now. What do you see? I can see two boys and they are fighting. They are angry at each other and they're fighting. Fighting is not a good thing. Now look at the other picture that now has shown on your screen. And for those who are listening on radio, the picture shows now there are three boys. And the one in the middle is trying to separate the two boys from fighting. He's doing a good thing. He's trying to make them friends again by telling them not to fight. The boy in the middle is also called a peacemaker. Now, do you know what a peacemaker is? Yes, you're correct. A peacemaker is someone who tries to stop people from fighting and tries to bring them together so that they can be friends again. God wants us to be peacemakers, like the boy you saw in the middle. You know what, boys and girls? The Bible also talks of a peacemaker, and his name is Paul. I want you to watch this short video clip and then we will talk more about the story that has been shown. This is Philemon. Philemon lived in Colossae. He was part of the early church there and even let other people worship Jesus in his house. That probably meant Philemon was pretty rich and respected and he followed Jesus. But Philemon also owned slaves. Today we know slavery is wrong, 
But back then, some people thought slavery was normal. Well, Onesimus, who was one of the slaves in Philemon's house, escaped and ran away to freedom. Along the way, Onesimus met the Apostle Paul, who was famous for telling people the good news about Jesus, who came to set the captives free and to give them hope. We're not sure how long Onesimus was with Paul, but we do know that after spending time with Paul, Onesimus believed in Jesus too. Paul and Onesimus worked together and even became good friends. Eventually though, Paul thought it was time for Onesimus to go back to Philemon. And because Philemon was probably upset with Onesimus for running away to freedom, Paul decided to write Philemon a letter. Instead of sending Onesimus back just to become a slave again, Paul said, Onesimus is better than a slave. He is dear to you, not only as another human being, but as a brother in the Lord. Now this was probably really tough for Philemon to hear. And Philemon's friends might have thought he should punish Onesimus instead of welcoming him back. But Paul wrote, I'm sure you'll obey. I know you will do even more than I ask. Paul wanted Philemon to stop treating Onesimus as a slave and start treating him as a brother. That's because Philemon and Onesimus were both human beings made in God's image. And Jesus died for both of them. In God's eyes, we are all equally valued and loved. As Paul said in another letter, there is no longer slave or free for you are all one in Christ Jesus. So if Philemon was going to follow Jesus, he will welcome his former slave back, not as a slave, but as family. And that's a little bit about Philemon. Did you see the story? From the story, we saw that there was a man, a master. He was called Philemon. Philemon was a rich man. And he had a servant called Onesimus. In those days, rich men had many servants. And one of the servants, in this case, was Onesimus. Onesimus was not too happy. And he ran away. He stole some things from his master Philemon, and ran away to a town called Rome. Now when he was there, he met Paul. Paul was an apostle of Jesus Christ. And Paul led him to Jesus Christ, and he became a child of God. Onesimus became a child of God and a great friend of Paul. And one day, Onesimus told Paul that he had run away from his master Philemon and had taken some money with him. And, Phil and, and Paul knew that it was wrong for him to run away from his master. And Paul told Onesimus, can you go back to your master? But he knew that Philemon, his master, would be very angry. And so what, uh, what, what now Paul wrote to Philemon was, please do not punish Onesimus. He's now a good person. He has become a child of God. And he's my friend, and I'm sure he's going to be your friend. Please do not punish him. Can you see that Paul was a peacemaker? I can see that. And that is what God wants us to be. When you see your friends have fought, or one is angry with another, be the one to bring them together. Be the peacemaker. But you know what, boys and girls? Apart from Paul the Apostle, there's even a bigger and a greater peacemaker. Do you know who that is? Can you guess? Can you guess? Yes, Jesus Christ. Jesus is the greatest peacemaker. You know, we have made God angry in many ways like lying, stealing,
disobedient to our parents, shouting, fighting. Do you do some of those things? If you do, you make God angry. But you know what? That's not the end of the story. Jesus came and died on the cross for us. And as a result, he made us friends with God. What that means is God will not punish us for our sin, but he forgives us because of what Jesus did on the cross. So boys and girls, what that means is when you believe in Jesus and ask him to be your friend, he comes into your heart and you have peace with God because he forgives your sin. Do you want to be a friend of Jesus? Do you want to be a friend of God? I can help you. I can pray with you and I can pray for you. Can you say this prayer with me? Yes. Once again, put your hands together like this and like this and close your eyes. Yes, close your eyes and let us ask Jesus to be our friend and to forgive our sins. Pray with me this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you that you are the greatest peacemaker. Dear Lord, I want to pray that you forgive my sins. I want to be your friend. Come into my heart. From now on, I am a friend of God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And amen. Have you prayed that prayer with me? You are now a friend of God. And you are in the family of God. And we have peace with God because of what Jesus did on the cross. Now I want to pray another prayer with all the boys and the girls that we are going to be peacemakers in our homes and for those who are going to school, even in our schools, okay? Let us put our hands together and again, close our eyes. Yes, close your eyes and let's say this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, please help me to be a peacemaker like Paul and even like Jesus Christ. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Well done, boys and girls. We are almost coming to the end of the lesson. But you know we have a memory verse. And our memory verse for today comes from Matthew. Yes, say it with me. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 9. Okay, let's say it together. Matthew chapter 5 verse 9. And it says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Can we say it again? Can we say it again? Okay, let's try. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 9. And it says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Well done. Remember that. Be a peacemaker. So boys and girls, welcome to the craft for today. Our craft for today is coloring craft. Pretty simple. You're going to ask your mom, your dad, or your guardian 
to download this from our CITAM website. From this, you can see we have two boys who are fighting, and the boy in the middle is trying to separate them. And on top, we have the memory verse. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. So boys and girls, after you have downloaded this and printed, make sure you color it very nicely, very nicely with either crayons. You can paint. You can also use colored pencils. And then when you are done, take a photo and send it to us through your Sunday school teacher. We will be happy to see it. You are the, the end product or the way it will look like is the way you'll see it on the screen, what is showing now. But I know you can even make it even more beautiful than the way I have colored it. So go ahead, color, and make sure you share it. I'd be happy to see your work next Sunday. Boys and girls, we've come to the end of our lesson. I have enjoyed it, and I'm going to be a peacemaker. Are you going to be a peacemaker? So until next Sunday, I'll see you next time. For now, it is bye. is the kingdom of heaven blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted blessed are the meek for they will inherit the earth blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they will be filled I will rejoice forever I will rejoice forever I will rejoice forever I will rejoice forever Yeah oh, oh. Blessed are the merciful they will be shown mercy Blessed are the pure in heart Oh, for they will see God Blessed are the peacemakers For they will be called children of God Blessed are those who are persecuted Because of righteousness For theirs is the kingdom of heaven I will rejoice forever I will rejoice forever I will rejoice forever